All right, Neil. So would you mind telling me what they're doing right there? Okay, right now we're uh, reinstalling one of the road wheels. Um, two of them we found were seized up, i.e. water got inside and seized up the bearings inside. And we were afraid of pulling it, it might uh, twist it off or rip the rubber off it. So consequently, once we had it jacked up in the air and on the blocks here, we pulled those wheels off. We took them apart, removed the bearing assemblies from inside, and they had to be taken to the workshop, pulled apart, freed up, re-greased, uh, cleaned up, and now they have now reinserted the bearing pack back into the wheel and shoved the wheel back onto its mounting shaft. We're so just making sure it's sitting there properly and shortly they're going to be tightening up the nut on it and closing it back up again, putting the, uh, the outside bearing seal cap onto it. Uh, so we've got two of them we have to do. You see we've still got one more at the front that has to be done and that's that one over there. They're working on it right now, re putting the bearings back inside of it. So once we finish this one, get it on, we'll be switching to the other one and putting it, reinstalling it as well. Um, they're not the latest things as you can see, it's almost a two-man job just to pick one up, but uh, once they're in place and put on properly, as you can see, they, they do roll nicely. Coming down. Okay, uh, right now we've got the road wheels reinstalled on the far side now. So we are jacking the vehicle up and removing the wooden cribbing so that it's back down on its tracks and suspension uh, in preparation for us to pull it out the door. We're going to do the uh, rear end first, drop it down and we'll go around and lift up the front and pull the wooden blocks out of there. We're actually going to take We're going to have to go up to the front. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're dealing with 22 to 24 tons total, so might as well say we're about six, six tons per corner. Coming down. Releasing. Clear. Come on. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Kent? Give me the thing. Yeah. Okay, we've got the uh, hole down on the ground now. We've got all the wooden cribbing removed. The track and suspension, the weight of the tank is now on it. Right now, we're going to bring in the, uh, the big A-frame attachment, hook it on here onto our pull points and with the tow motor we're going to carefully pull it outside. So the guys that are going to be hooking, hooking that up, that's their responsibility, it's going to be the Remy guys, the vehicle techs, that are coming in to do it. Uh, they're hooking it up, they'll be towing it out and it's their responsibility with that stuff. The rest of us are just staying off on safety to let them do their job. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we 
Morgan. You got it. I think it might be true. No, let's just move this thing ever so slightly to make sure nothing finds it inside. After attaching the A-frame to the flak panzer, the crew towed it out of its storage building so that they could work on its turret and remove its quad 20mm AA mounts. You can check all this out in our part 2 video on the April 1st workday.